Welcome to Everyday Recording. This is part 5 of Analytical Function video series. Basically, in this video series, we are talking about all analytical functions in SQL Server. So, in this video, I am discuss on lead analytical function in SQL Server. Analytical functions in the SQL Server operate on set of rows. Those functions return a group of rows that can be further analyzed. What is lead analytical function? So, lead analytical function access the data from a subsequential row in the same result set without the use of self join. The lead function always look up the value within this particular record sets. That means same record sets and get this particular value and put into the current row in which that I am currently staying. So, lead provide access to a row at a given physical offsets that follow the current row particularly this current row follow the value of next two row value that i am specifying as a second parameter of this function that means this is the offset value so if i am specifying three in this case lead function always look up the third row after this particular row look up the value of fourth row of the same record sets that means yama empty one prime and put this value into the current row. So the syntax of this particular lead analytical function is it accept a particular column name that means scalar expression. Second parameter is offset that means how many row it look up. Obviously this is not a mandatory by default SQL server look up row 1. It always take the next row value that means yama mt09 and put this value on the particular current record sets value and the third parameter is default value. So what is the default value? I will explain when I am executing this particular query in my SQL server. These three parameter accepted by this particular lead function. So after that we are using over keyword. This over keyword parenthesis by two things partition by clause and order by clause. Partition by clause is not a mandatory in this case order by clause is mandatory. So based on this order by clause, all the record sets must be manipulated and based on partition by clause, record sets are divided on multiple subgroups. So I just go to my SQL Server window, just close my presentation and I just go to my SQL Server. So within a SQL Server, I have a sample table and within a sample table, I have some sample data. Basically, six columns are there. First column is the identity column, that means primary key column. Second column is the some product name, that means bike names. Third column is the manufacturer of those bikes. Fourth column, year in which those bikes are launched. Fifth column is the price of those bikes. And sixth column is the type of bikes. That means two types of bikes are there, the normal type of bike and super bike. So based on those data, I have executed this particular query. See what result we will get from this particular query. And this lead function individually generate a particular row. You know that the lead function always take a value on the same record sets. So in this case, I am passing an attribute name name. It will look up the value in between these particular record sets. Okay. So it will look up after three rows of this particular current sets. That means this is the offset value. If I am on this particular record, that means row number one. In this case, this lead function look up on third row after this particular current row. That means row number two, three and four and take this value and put into the particular portion of this current row. Okay. So if I am passing two as a offset value and if I am execute this particular query in this case the lead function take next two row that means row number two row number three yama mt09 get this particular value and put into the current record if i am not specifying any value just close those parameters and if i am executing this particular query in this case this lead function by default look up on next row if I am in the particular current row, this lead function look up on next row value on the same record sets, MIFZ FI, get this particular value put into the current record. By default nature of this lead function is it's always look up on next row. Now I am pressing Ctrl Z, just executing this particular query. Okay, I hope the fundamental concept regarding this lead function is clear. And the third parameter is a particular default value. 
I told that this is not a mandatory. If I am execute this without this third parameter, I, I will execute this query successfully. The problem is that when I am particular in row number 11, this lead function look up on next two row of this particular current row. In this case, next row is exist, but next two row is not exist. That means row number 13 is not exist. In this case, this lead function doesn't get any value from this particular record sets. That's why it's supplying null value. And same thing is happened in row number 12 because it look up a next two row, but no row is exist after this row number 12. So that's why this lead function return a null value. So I don't want this particular null value. That's why I'm specifying a particular default value whenever this lead function doesn't get any value. I just passing as a ABC just for a simple default value and I'm executing this particular query. You can see this instead of null, this lead function specifying this ABC value. That means ABC text that will be appear on last two record sets. So if I am using partition by clause within this particular query, so I just applying partitions, just partition by type. Okay, just caps those values, pressing control shift U. Okay, so type is the attribute name of this particular table in which I am divided this particular record sets into the two subgroups that means two types of bikes are there normal bikes and super bikes so based on this type value i have partitioned this particular record sets so now i am executing this particular query you can see this this total record sets is now divided into the two subgroups first record sets means row number one to row number seven okay this is the first record sets and the second record set is row number 8 to row number 12. If I am on this particular row, row number 7, in this case, this lead function always look up the next two row after this particular current row of the same record sets. No row exists in this case because now this record sets is divided into the two subgroups. So this is the last record of this particular subgroup. So no row exists after this particular subgroups. So that's why this lead function doesn't get any value. It will simply return null on this particular record. Now I am using ABC as a default value. That's why it simply replace ABC instead of null. So whenever you divide the particular record sets using the partition by clause, in this case, this lead function is applicable only on each partition. That's why I'm specifying this particular third parameter, simply text ABC. Okay. I hope all those doubts regarding this particular lead function all are clear. And if you have any queries regarding my video, and if you have any suggestion regarding my YouTube channel, just feel free to put into the comment box. That's it for today. Have a good day.